Hey, good evening, everybody. Um, this is my first time streaming a game um, ever online. So um, I play a lot of retro games, a lot of casual, just kind of um, old school games, uh, things that I think are kind of fun um, to play. So I wanted to do something to give back to the Gamers Outreach Foundation. Uh, it's a great organization. It's a great cause. Uh, what they're doing is fantastic. It was actually started up in Michigan um, by a couple of high schoolers that had this great idea of gamers giving back to children uh, who are either hurt or injured or uh, ill uh, and might be spending long amount of time in the uh, hospital. And while they're in the hospital, games are a great way for them to take their mind off of whatever pain they might be in or any of the types of treatments they're going through. So I wanted to give back to this organization because I think it's a really powerful one. And one way that I am just experimenting, trying to give back to um, the Gamers Outreach Foundation is by doing some streaming. And I've not done this before, so wanted to try it out and we'll do, um, you know, just a half hour of some uh, gaming. I chose Galaga as the game that I'm going to play this evening. Galaga is a really cool game. It's one of my favorites, actually. Um, came out uh, the same year I was born, 1981. And um, the game version that I'll be playing is actually the port for the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. So I think it's one of the better uh, ports of that game. I think it's um, uh, a little bit more... Tr uh, it's a little truer to the arcade version. Uh, there are still a lot of differences, uh, particularly with the patterns of how different alien spacecraft come onto the screen and that the patterns are a little bit different. Um, but it's a lot of fun to play, and it's neat to see how far you can get in advance in different levels. Um, now, my wife and I, we play this game uh, for fun every now and then, and um, she's not so concerned about the hit-miss ratio. I'm a little more concerned about that when I play, so... Um, I try to be a little more cautious about how I'm shooting the different aliens um, to try and hit as many as I possibly can and make that ratio as best as possible. So we'll see how it goes this evening. But um, anyway, hopefully this will be fun. And if you haven't seen Galaga before, um, at least uh, this hopefully will introduce you to the game. And you might want to give it a try yourself. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. And um, I was actually watching the Pixels movie just recently with um, Adam Sandler, and I uh, watched that earlier today, and a lot of references to Galaga, and even some hidden ones that I didn't catch the first couple times that I watched the movie. Um, so if, you, if you're if you ever interested in, in um, watching the movie Pixels, um, it's, it's just a fun movie. It's, you know, it's not great, but it's a lot of fun, um, especially if you've seen the games. It's kind of cool uh, to think back about those games. But um, anyway... We'll get into Galaga here, but while I'm streaming, please feel free. Um, I'm streaming through uh, YouTube, but I also have a Tiltify um, account up. And um, if you can go on there and make a donation to the Gamers Outreach Foundation, that would be fantastic. Um, it goes The donation goes directly to them. I don't handle the money or any of that. So um, you can go on there, watch the uh, stream of the game while I'm playing it. And um, my goal is $100.00. We'll see how much we can raise tonight, um, but if you would go on there and um, donate some money to the Gamers Outreach Foundation, I'd very much appreciate it. So with that, let's hop into uh, Galaga and see uh, what we can do. And yeah, reset the game. All right, so here we are hopping into Galaga. And again, this is the Nintendo Entertainment System version of it. It um, uh, came out in 1985 uh, on the Nintendo game. So um, I'm not actually playing yet. I haven't started the game, so <laughs> let me jump into this here. Um, we're just going to do one player. It is a two-player game, so if you ever want to play it with your friends... Now you use the A button to uh, shoot these guys down. Now the ones in the back, they're a little trickier to shoot because it takes maybe about three or four tries. Um, they change color once you hit them a couple of times. So um, 
once you get the pattern of how they're moving back and forth down, then it's a little bit easier to catch them. You gotta watch these blue winged ones though, because they will actually, once they come down, they'll circle back around, and they'll also drop bombs on you too, so... Um, you wait for the alien ships to reset, and then you get your other guy. Oh, man, I got hit by that guy. This is my last ship. I'm not doing so good here. All right, stage two. We'll see how far we can get with this ship. I may need to... I don't think I'm going to get too far with this one. Now, the second time around, they start dropping bombs on you as soon as they come in. They don't do that in the first level, so the first stage... Those blue-winged ones, man, they're the, they're the hardest ones, I think, to capture. Just because they do that little circling thing. I, oh, shoot, I got captured. Man. Now, since I'm out of spaceships, I don't have another spaceship in my fleet to get out there. So, that's game over. Now, my hit-miss ratio is not too bad. 59.2. Usually, I can get close to 63 if I'm having a good evening. Uh, but that wasn't such a great evening uh, start. So let's uh, let's give this another shot. All right. Once you start seeing them come in from the screen, now they won't drop the bombs the first time around. They'll just fly in. Remember those ones in the back, they take a little bit longer to kill them. I take them out. I try to get as many of those blue winged ones as I can right off the bat. If I can get those knocked out, then I'm in pretty good shape. Yeah, stay away from that guy, man. Once they start using that power beam down on you. It's always good, too, to move from side to side and not stick in one spot, and, and then you can usually uh, remember to, uh, oh, shoot, as I was just going to remind you, on level two, on stage two, they start dropping bombs as soon as they come in on the screen. That's one thing you always got to look out for. Take out as many of these guys as I can here. Man, I got blown up there. There we go. All right, now we can hit the challenging stage. So once stage two is done, then you get this challenging stage. And the really cool thing about the challenging stage is if you know right where they're going to come down at, you can usually get in like that straight line of where they're going to come down and just hit them one at a time, boom, 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 all the way in. I am not hitting it tonight. <sighs> 27 and 31 is usually like around my average for the challenge round. I'm sure, I, you know, other people have done better, but 24. Whew, that's not fantastic, but all right, stage four. This one gets a little trickier because now the spaceships, once they start coming in, not only are they dropping bombs, but now they're also flying at you. So some of them will break away from the pack and they'll fly down straight towards you, which is a little different than the other uh, stages. And you can see my strategy is usually sliding back and forth as much as possible. You can avoid some of the uh, missiles that way from the alien spacecraft and... You know, my hit-miss ratio wasn't that great that time. You can usually hold down the button, too, and just let it continually fire, which is what my wife likes to do. And um, that, you know, your hit-miss ratio is not as great when you do that, but it's it's a good way to do it. All right, we're going to try this again. Remember, now, I'm raising money for Gamers Outreach Foundation. Um, it's an awesome organization started by two high schoolers 
where they give um, different carts and entertainment systems for uh, kids in, in uh, hospitals to be able to play games. Uh, maybe not old school games like this, like Galaga, but you know, it gives them a chance to escape their illnesses or treatment or whatever it is they're going through at the time. Um, so remember, um, I'm raising money on Tiltify for Gamers Outreach Foundation. Please uh, give me a donation in there if you would. I'd appreciate it. All right, I'm going to restart the game here, and we're going to go for another round, see how far I can get on Galaga. Love that old school 8-bit music. A lot of fun. All right, here we go, here we go. Wait till they go back up, and then they get back in that line. Take out as many of those blue guy, blue wing guys as I can. Watch out! Remember those blue winged ones? They curve back around. They come back at you. A lot of people usually forget that, and then once they start diving, they get in the wrong spot, and then they're in trouble. See, he's gonna curve back around. I'm going to get him when he comes back down, hopefully. Oh, that was close. Now remember, on stage two, you got to watch out because they're going to start dropping bombs on you. Ah, those bombs always get me, man. Missiles, whatever they're called. I, man, they just they get me every time. There we go, there we go. Take those two guys out. Jeez. Challenging stage. Let's do it. Got one of them. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's good. Oh, it's too far over. Got that one on the end, though. Shoot. Now that was a better one. That was 28. It's not too bad. If I can do 3100, that's pretty good, though. Alright, stage 4. Let's do it. Shoot. Oh, this is the one where they start diving down at you. Don't forget that. Shoot, we got bombs, too. And now they're gonna start. They're gonna start coming down in pairs now. Groups of three, groups of four. They're gonna start coming down. Now the blue winged ones, they can start turning into these like. Ah oh, shoot! They can turn into like these really weird ships that can actually go backwards, so they they don't have to move directly down towards you. They can start coming back at you. Oh, that got lucky here. All right, stage five. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, shoot. Took out my last guy. Man. All right. You know, my hit miss ratio wasn't that great right now. It's just. All right. We're going to give this another shot here. And again, I want to remind everybody, I am raising money for Gamers Outreach Foundation. So um, please come and, uh, you know, enjoy watching me play Galaga. It's an old school game. I'm going to play it for, uh, you know, another round here. And then I might switch over to another old, old school classic. Um, but uh, in the meantime, please go to my Tiltify account. 
Um, and uh, please donate some money to the Gamers Outreach Foundation. Uh, I'd really appreciate that. All right, here we go again. Let's do it. See how far we can get here. Watch out for these guys, too. Now, I usually sometimes like to wait for them to come back in, and then they loop back up into that formation. Once they get back in that formation, then it's a lot easier to hit them. One of the fun things about these old games is the uh, pixel art that's in it. You know, it's just a lot of fun. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's something... Something different. It's not, uh, you know, it's not the newer games that are out there. It's not the best graphics, but... It's a lot of fun, and I think that's what what makes these games really unique is uh, it's not so much the graphics that you need to need to uh, you know make sure they're really good in a game. This is one of those games where it's like the gameplay is just so fun. You know, how far can you get? And obviously, I can't get very far tonight. Let's give it another shot here. We just got this one ship left. Oh shoot! I don't want to get caught by that. Oh, ho, ho. thought I would be able to get him. I didn't get him though. All right, stage two. Let's do it. All right. Remember, this is when they start dropping some bombs on us too. Yep. As soon as they start coming in, they're dropping bombs already. Man, I avoided that one pretty narrowly. Oof! Another one. Jeez, oh, Pete. Oh. Man, they came after me that time. I think that last round, that last game that I played, I think that was one of my better ones. For this evening, anyway. Man. The hardest part is you're kind of watching for the missiles that are coming down at you, and then you're also watching those ships, too. You gotta watch, you gotta keep your eye on both of them. Man, I tell you, that's something else. That's a fun game, though, you know? So, um, I'm going to pick another game here to play, and uh, we're going to do some Dig Dug. I hope that's okay with everybody. Um, let's do Dig Dug. So, Dig Dug is a really fun game. This is another port. Um, this is uh, f um, the Nintendo Entertainment System version. Uh, Dig Dug was originally um, an arcade game, and... Um, there's names for these little guys, too. I think there's a Yigar or Igar or something like that. That's the dragon. And then Pookie, I think, is the um, the little red guys. <clears throat> so we're going to play Dig Dug. Let's, uh, let's try this out. Um, this one's it, it's a lot of fun to play. Um, you know, I, again, I don't take any of these games too seriously. <laughs> I just play them for fun. You know, I think they're fun to see how far you can get. Um... So you go up here and oh shoot! I didn't I didn't get my uh, my little my harpoon out fast enough. You get this like harpoon thing. It's almost like a bike bicycle pump in a way. Oh shoot! I was facing the wrong way. You take this harpoon and then you like blow these guys up and they explode. Which I mean, it's kind of gruesome, but at the same time, tons of fun. And the dragons are always more, they're, they're always more points. This guy, guard guy, and you take him out. Now, once you get to the last one, he tries to go up. Ah, oh, shoot. Shoot, he's going to get out of there. He got away from me. Now, the flowers up at the top, they'll tell you what level you're on. Um, so, I'm on level two right now. And you got to watch out for those rocks, too, because those rocks will actually fall. And... Couldn't get turned around fast enough. Well, that was a pretty dismal game there. Uh, let's try another one here. Uh, you got to watch out for the rocks because the rocks will fall on top of you. Um, you know, if you dig underneath the rocks, if you stand under it too long, those rocks will fall down on top of you. But the other cool thing is you can actually get the rock. You can get the rock to uh, actually fall down on the bad guys too. Uh, I don't know how I just did that, but... Okay. Ah, shoot. I didn't get turned around fast enough. That's usually my biggest problem is getting turned around fast enough. Kablamo. There we go. 
So taking a look at how much money we've raised right now, I'm a little concerned that I haven't seen anybody, um, I haven't seen anybody uh, donate any money yet for um, uh, Gamers Outreach Foundation here. So, um, you know, hey, I am trying to raise some money for a, a great cause, and uh, it'd be great if uh, some some people could uh, make some donations while I'm uh, while I'm playing some games here. Yes. Oh shoot! I got surrounded. Now, you can kind of see where some of the sprites, they call them sprites, but the characters, they um, they start flashing after a while. Well, that's because of the um, the uh, scan line rate. Uh, you couldn't have so many certain sprites on a certain level um, at the same time. So they they couldn't be like in the same scan line as, as the others. Um, that was more of an issue with Atari. Uh, it got a little bit better with Nintendo because it had better graphics and better uh, stuff. But... Um, Come on, man. Come on. I'm going to take you guys down. Shoot. Man, not surrounding me this time. <laughs> I trapped him. <laughs> Took that guy down. All right. Come on. Here we go. Oh, you coming, dude. Nice. Sometimes it's, it's, good, it's good just to let them come to you, you know? Yeah. He had no chance. No chance. No chance on that one. Alright, so I'm on level three. Couldn't get turned around fast enough. Dang on it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 he got me. Right before I was gonna do the harpoon too. He didn't really. Man. All right, I'm gonna play a couple more rounds of Dig Dug here. Again, I'm raising money for the Gamers Outreach Foundation right now on Tiltify. Um, be sure to go to Tiltify and uh, it's tiltify.com slash at symbol matbit m4ttbit um, that'll actually take you to my profile on Tiltify and then once you get there click on the Gamers Outreach Foundation it's the uh, matbit retro gaming for kids stream and that's what we're doing right now so we're trying to raise some money for a great cause and you can help me out ah crud you can help me out by donating to Gamers Foundation. This is going to help give uh, kids in hospitals, um, anyone who's dealing with an illness, any kids, or, or continual treatment, um, this is going to give them a chance to escape that and, and play some fun games while, while they're you know, going through a difficult time. So this is a, a really good opportunity for them to uh, to feel better, you know, by playing games. And you can be a part of that. You can um, donate some money uh, to the Gamers Outreach Foundation tonight uh, while I'm streaming some old school games. And uh, we can see how much money we can raise for some for some kids for a really good cause. Ah, shoot! Geiger got me. He got me good. Oh shoot, my harpoon didn't work. Oh, man, that's the luck of the draw. Here we go. Here we go again with Dig Dug, okay? Now, this is the last game I'm going to play this evening. I'm only going to stream for a half an hour tonight. Um, you know, this being my first streaming of, uh, of actual gameplay. And I'll tell you what, it's not easy. It's not easy. I'm, I'm, I'm running into these guys and making mistakes that I don't usually make. All because, all because I'm trying to talk at the same time as playing a game. It's not easy to do. 
I give a lot of credit to the to the people that do it all the time. <sighs> all right, we're gonna go after this guy down here. Oh shoot! By the way, the dragon dude, he can blow you up with fire. Okay, just note to self: if you ever played Dig Dug, Dragon Dude can uh, he can blow you up with fire. Here we go. Let's do it again. Here he comes, here he comes. Alright, don't let me down now, Dig Dug, come on. Nice. Ha <laughs> I saw you there, dude. <laughs> Look at that. Took him down. That's the way to do it, right there. Oh, they're ganging up on me now. Oh, that was close. <laughs> he got stuck. He couldn't get out of there in time. <laughs> All right, here we go. I think the coolest thing about these old school games is, is the fact. Oh shoot! Is the fact that um, you, you're really trying to play against yourself. Like you're trying to you're trying to defeat these guys, and like each time you do it, if you don't if you don't do well, shoot! Oh man, they gamed up on me. If you don't do it well, you you get a chance to like you know try again and just keep trying. That's I mean that's the biggest cool thing about it. Oh, come here, you. He's trying to get away, man. Couldn't get turned fast enough, man. All right, that's okay. That's cool. That's all right. We're on fourth level here. Oh, there was no way I was getting out of that one. No way, no way. I think this is my last guy. Oh, come on. Couldn't get my harpoon out fast enough. Man, I tell you what. Well, okay, everyone, that's Dig Dug. So hopefully you got to experience a couple new games, you know, if you've never played an old school game before. Um, this is Dig Dug, and, uh, you know, earlier we played, uh, one of my favorite games of all time, Galaga. Um, so, I'll probably stream these games again some other time, um, for sure. And, uh, you know, I think that, uh, I think it's, it's pretty cool, it's fun to play old, old school games. I've got a lot of, uh, uh, Nintendo, some Atari games and things like that that, um, you know, I'll probably stream again in the future. Um, it doesn't look like I've got any donations here this evening, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I did want to give this a shot and see what we could do. I am going to uh, donate some of my own money towards um, towards the Gamers Outreach Foundation because they are uh, a great organization. If you haven't checked them out, uh, please go to their website and, and, uh, and check them out. I will post the website uh, address in the description below. I will also post my website. You can go to mapbit.com and um, I will have this video posted there along with a link to my donation page. It'll be up for a while and you can go in and make a donation after the streaming has, has finished. So hopefully you in, in, enjoyed this session and uh, you know just thanks for hanging around and uh, watching me play some old school games and um, I look forward to doing it uh, a few more times again in the future. So thanks a bunch. That's all for me this evening. Uh, please continue to donate to the Gamers Outreach Foundation.